Today, we wonder why people are so tossed about. And oftentimes I wonder if it's why in our Christian lives, everything is such a public show. It's like people are wanting to put things out there so public when really the real need is a real private, personal walk with Jesus Christ. Why are people so tossed about today? Even amongst people that believe the Bible and follow the message of this hour. We see uh, under the vision of this end time hour how that there was a, a time when hundreds and hundreds of people were reaping and rejoicing, accepting the Lord for their salvation. And it's so wonderful to have a message of salvation. Then to have prayer lines and people lining up and people coming down through the congregation, up on the platforms and lining up, maybe even going out onto the street and things. But we find under the vision of our time that there was a voice that desired the people to go further. And this light that was a present among us in our generation and the voice that spoke out of that light was always encouraging to go into a secret place, go into that private place, go into that deeper experience. It's not always the public show in our lives, whether it's salvation or healing or even outward works that is so pleasing to the Lord. It is that private place. Today, I encourage you to not allow your Christian life to always be so public is in that private place. Like in the natural, we would say it's in the bedroom or in a private place is where life really comes forth. It's not always out there with all your family and your friends and the church and out before the world, but it's in the secret place. God said he would meet you. I encourage you today to find a secret place. It's not so much about being in the public and making a big show, but it's in that place with the Lord when he comes to you personally and privately where's where life comes.